there. Greetings to all from wherever you are joining. Uh, our body is also called as uh, Annamaya Kosha. Annamaya Kosha is the outer sheath. Within that one, other uh, sheaths are there. Pranamaya, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya and Anandamaya Kosha. These are the layers. The center of all, Annamaya, Pranamaya on the other side, Vijnanamaya and Anandamaya on the other side, at the center, like a king, is Manomaya Kosha. Manomaya Kosha is like a king. It holds the key for the, whether you want to go outside or inside, it holds the key for our path. It's like a, it is a, Manomaya Kosha is the king and it holds the key for our evaluation, evolution, our um, Annamaya Kosha body, body, body is, uh, uh, is called as a packaging. Last week I talked about body is like a packaging and outer packaging and the product is mind. However great is the packaging, if the product is not good, you cannot impress the impress others for long. Product is not good, great packaging. Yes, one of buying is there, there won't be any repeat customer. If you want to have a value for you, if you want to improve the brand value for your product, yourself, not only the outer packaging, you must pay attention to your inner product. Inner product enrichment, that mind, you have to um, pay attention to the mind. The everyone, the, uh, uh, we are impelled by following the trend. Whatever outside is there, we are just following the norm. Uh, if you are born in a um, uh, family, born uh, the eating non-vegetarian, for example, we say this is our family tradition we are following. But consciously you have to change something. Yes, it is a family tradition. We have been eating, uh, drinking alcohol and eating meat. That is the family tradition. It is an action and reaction. It is a coming and it is a following the trend. But to break that one, conscious effort is required. Conscious effort required to change the tradition. It is called as uh, sadhana. The otherwise, we are always saying that uh, we are caught up in the karma, karma of action and reaction. There is no freedom in our life. We are, whether we are acting or reacting, we don't know. But to change consciously our path, that is called as sadhana. Yes, I have been uh, doing that one. Now I have to change. The changing part is called as sadhana. The uh, how you eat, the, the, the food you take, the social circle and um, the, the, your lifestyle, everything, you follow a trend, but to change the trend, go against your mind, um, general, like water is flowing down, you had to change the water course in another direction, mind flow another direction, that is called as Sadhana. To do the sadhana, the sadhana, um, uh, Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita talks about sadhana is not easy. In effort, I said for the sadhana, come to face-to-face -face class, cold winter. The, my trend is I don't want to do, I want to be in a cozy area. But sadhana requires people who are so keen on sadhana, they go to Himalaya also. In search of a teacher, they are willing to go. We, we are not interested in coming out two kilometers away. That sadhana, so much of the energy is required to break the trend and create a new path. In the candle, wax is flowing in one direction. 
to make the wax to flow in another direction you have to dig a deeper groove so that it can flow to flow the to come out of the effect of karma and um, uh, 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 the, um, the action and reaction you have to do the sadhana so that you are there is no people say there is no freedom yes there is a freedom those who do the sadhana they can lay the path for them in another direction it is up to you whether you can lay the path shri krishna talks about yukta ahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yukta sapna avabodasya yogo bhavati dukkah this making a right choice in your life it's yoga for that person yogo bhavati dukkah that person will come out of the shackles of action and reaction creates the path for freedom yukta ahara one who takes a mindful decision mindfully living this mindful living it is called as sadhana mindful living the right now the world is uh, um, the mindlessly living uh, last uh, on the 17th they were saying that in the north of china uh, the place recorded the highest temperature 52 plus degrees 52 degrees whole of america is uh, boiling europe is boiling this year alone they say in italy more than 18000 people died because of the heat last year in europe more than 61000 died because of the heat we don't care we are only reckless living we are going in one direction consciously we have to change our lifestyle it requires effort it requires the you have to go against the trend and to motivate people that conscious living mindful living it is this mindful living in yoga it is also called as ahimsa ahimsa means you are not a burden to yourself you are not burden to others this mindful living in um, yoga it is called as ahimsa when one is established in ahimsa around that person there is the abundance prosperity glory is there in patanjali talks about ahimsa pratishtayam tat sannido vairatyagaha in that person's surrounding there is abundance there is prosperity there is peace serenity this what yoga is talking about you have to start living mindfully what you are doing will it be beneficial immediately and in the long term may be immediately uh, it's a great thrill drinking uh, alcohol and uh, killing animals but uh, is it in the long term is it sustainable last week i talked about uh, in africa that plants and if the giraffe start uh, eating fruit from that plant far away another 1 uh, kilometer away the tree gets the signal from this tree when tree can c- c- communicate if animals are taken into slaughter house won't they be communicating that other animals also start secreting the hormones hormones anxiety hormone anxiety it comes on to us there is no mindful living mindful living change has to happen from us mindfully we have to live and to live the mindful living we have to have a body body also must be compliant the mind is called as a king body is a slave like a uh, the obedient slave body should be cooperating body should be flexible body should be agile body should be dynamic so that mind can accomplish its purpose body should be a slave should be flexible for that yoga helps in the as a great supporter it helps the mind to accomplish great things mind when the body is cooperating and mind is agile mind becomes resilient when the mind becomes resilient it can handle challenges challenges in life 
the body body has a shelf life the body has a uh, shelf life and whereas the when the person dies what happened to the mind the mind stuff the soul takes the mind thor mind stuff along with that one body drops the whatever i am thinking the same pattern the soul takes it along and packs it up takes it when the soul is born that soul comes in and this mind stuff starts unpacking the people by changing the patanjali also che tells by mere changing the body thought waves won't change whatever i have been doing past same mistake i'm continue to do that leads to coming and going same thing there is no upward progress in me progress in me consciously you had to do that is called a sadhana not by impelled by karma action and reaction what is consciously doing impelled you had to do the sadhana so that you know when the mind stuff goes when it gone into another body i am doing the same thing i have changed only the casing packaging has changed but inside i am the same old habit um old person there is no evolu- evolution in my personality for that body body is a limited shelf life but mind body the uh, it's a maximum there is a limit for the body's to growth but for the mind there is no limit limit of expansion unlimited potential is there in the mind body is small body follows the trend of a uh, inverted bucket bucket body strength body uh, strength goes up to uh, the youth 25 28 30 after that strength starts declining whereas the mind mind it is not following the if you do the sadhana mind has a potential to continue to expand before the body drops enrich the mind not to say when nothing is pos- uh, no work after retiring i will pay attention to thinking yesterday in the car nagendra was saying and i was remembering so many things now it is very difficult to remember why i am waiting too long when the body is able enrich the mind enrich the mind not to wait until the too late you won't remember mind won't be there won't be any progress when the body is healthy invest on to your mind and that um, uh, get maximum when the mind is in, um, uh, 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 enriched nourishes the soul that is why soul is taking the mind to various bodies you like we go to hotel that restaurant this restaurant the soul is taking you want to enjoy go there you want to enjoy are you happy no i am not happy are you want to go no i am not happy i am not happy i am not happy soul is taking when the mind is enriched soul then soul won't be taking you in all places and make you sad again and this is the life sutra before the life the body drops enrich the mind and nourish the soul lie down on your back <laughs>